If you don't know what to plant in zone nine in the month of August, you're in the right place. What's up world? Welcome back to another episode of Just Grow Up The Podcast. I'm your host, Big City Gardener. And today we're talking about what to plant in the month of August in zone nine. Let's get to it. It's still extremely hot in the month of August, but our options of what we can plant have now expanded. We're no longer limited to summer crops. It is time to start thinking about your fall garden and getting those seeds in the ground. First is artichokes. You can seed your artichokes right now this month. We can still plant our arugula directly seeded into our garden. We can also still plant basil, whether you're directly seeding it or transplanting it into your garden. So now we can even add in some of our fall crops. So you can plant things like beets directly into your garden, or you can even start planting some of your Asian greens this year, as opposed to growing kales and lettuce and spinach. Well, I am still gonna grow kale and spinach. I'm gonna focus on growing a majority of Asian greens. I'm gonna try all different varieties from bok choy to joy choy, Napa cabbage, things like that. If you've never grown Asian greens, let this be the year that you try it out. You can plant things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage. All of these fall crops, we can start them inside underneath our grow lights so that we're able to transplant them out into our garden when the temperatures drop a little bit in the month of September or October. Now we can even plant things like our cauliflower, our Swiss chard, our celery. Again, more fall crops that we can get out into our garden now. With all the fall crops that I've mentioned, you can either directly seed those into your garden or you can start them inside underneath your grow lights, whatever works best for you. If you remember the past few months when I mentioned planting cucumbers, I said that we should only be growing the Suyo Long or other Armenian varieties. But now in the month of August, feel free to plant any cucumber variety that you want. I plan on growing lemon cucumbers and some more pickling cucumbers. I already mentioned Swiss chard, but we can also start another one of my favorite kind of leafy greens, and that is kale. It's still a little bit too hot to start your lettuce seedlings. That's something we'll be doing next month in September. Now, we can still plant our multiplying onions, so if you haven't got those in your garden yet, you should try that this month. We can still plant our southern peas like our black-eyed peas or our pigeon peas. And now, in the month of August, we can get back to growing our summer squash. So, if the squash vine borer decimated your crops and you didn't get the harvest that you wanted in the summer, now is the ideal time to plant your summer squash. Get your zucchinis in the ground, get your yellow crookneck squash in the ground, anything like that. And now the cooler temperatures are on the way, that means there is less of a chance that your plants will have to deal with the SVB. You can also plant sweet potato slips, but sweet potatoes need extremely hot temperatures. So since the fall is right around the corner, you may not end up with the harvest that you want. And this is the month to get your fall tomatoes in the ground. If you still have tomatoes in your garden, you can propagate them and start new plants, or you can head out to your local nursery and grab some new tomato transplants. But make sure you get quick maturing varieties. If you need to learn some more information on quick maturing varieties, check out that episode on Just Grow It, the podcast. And now that fall time is right around the corner, if you ask me, fall time means herb time. Get all of your herbs planted that you possibly can. We already mentioned basil, but you can plant your oreganos, your parsleys, all of the mints, your rosemaries, sage. Now is the time to start those seeds or head out to your nursery and grab some plants. Multiple people have told me that I do not mention the flowers that you can plant this month. That's right, I will do that in another episode. This right here is really more for the edibles. Now, before I let you go, one thing. Do not plant your entire garden all at one time, or else you'll end up with a crazy harvest that you may not be able to eat all at once. What I recommend is practicing succession planting. So with the things that I've listed in this episode, you can try planting them on a two week schedule. For example, with beets, we could plant a few seeds out in the first week of August, come back in the middle of August and plant some more beets, and then continue that pattern all the way throughout the fall. That way we can have continuous harvest up until the winter time hits. 
Now, that's it for this episode of Just Grow It, the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Until next time, get outside, try not to get stung by these bees, and get your hands in the dirt and just grow it.